All right, so you guys have already seen our initial walkthrough of the motel. I uh, hope you found that really interesting. But the next step was for us to sleep on it, regroup, revisit it, and I'd scheduled an appointment with a very reputable contractor who was quite familiar with the project. As it turned out, he and some of his family members had thought about the project in the past. So we wanted to meet on site, on location, and walk through sort of our preliminary thoughts and then pose the question to the contractor expert. Well, we're up against this 50% rule. What can we get done for less than 50%? Because I'd already decided that I wasn't gonna go more than 50% and do new construction and be on that interior plot for more than it was worth. Roll it, Charles. When we talk to Kyle, we're going to pick a number, 200. Yeah. Okay, so that's 12.5 per room. Mm -hmm. And then that, that's just an average across the right. Room, right? Um, but can we put some concrete and maybe some lines to show where the parking is and, uh, and put a little sign out there that says parking here mm -hmm. and then People come and they walk around and we make this safe. You know, I know for a fact that that upper deck needs some work and the handrails. Um, but like, if we could do that and be below 50% and not raise this thing, we could run this thing for a year, two, five. So whatever this thing gets assessed at, if we do more than 50% uh, renovation, then you have to bring everything up to code, which means lifting the whole building and improving the parking and septic. And it's basically like a new build, oh, yeah. right? So I don't know what this thing would appraise out at, but let's just pick a number. Let's say it's 400,000. So that gives us $200,000. And the question that I have is if, if the bare minimum work to really bring this thing to a safety perspective, I don't care so much about like the look and feel of it. I care about safety. I'm not putting, 16 good hardworking people in here in like a fire trap or you know, I'm not I have no interest I just walk away, but if I can make this thing safe and Then Kim and her team can beautify it and do whatever but right now I know for a fact That upper deck is not to code. I think the stairs aren't to code it ain't nothing to code, but that's beside the point yeah. a lot of stuff fell look you know the go that's not to code, you know, and um but as far as to code, you know, um I mean, I mean they've let it go this long, right? Yeah, but they won't let it go. Uh, well, I won't invest and in it. And I mean, it. In the underneath, you know, the, the wire and the plumbing. I mean, yeah. there's, of course, there's no insulation, and you really don't want to put no insulation under there it's because flood. it's, it's going to flood. Right. Yeah. It's going to breathe. And yeah, it, absolutely. There you go. So year-round is questionable in terms of heating. Well, it. heating and cooling because you don't have that here. No, you yeah. don't have no heat and cooling. Right. 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 And, uh, and so, do you use like mini split systems? Yeah, mini splits, but then you're going to be putting a lot of money in a bunch of mini splits. Yeah. You know, so, before it's over with. So, is that over? How much that, is that? that? Well, yeah, that adds up. You're talking about fifteen to, you know, twenty, fifteen hundred dollars a piece at least. Well, yeah. truthfully, the whole deck needs to be torn down. Right. You know, I that's mean, what needs to be done. And then if you start doing that, then you got inferior posts because you only got four and fours holding this thing up. Sure and, those two by sixes are running. And you're not allowed to even do that no more. And then, then you steer down to the foundation, and the foundation's in bad shape. So, you know, it's either you, you just. It's, a, it's one big band-aid and you're going to be sticking more with, on it. And know? with what you said, as far as looking at it as a five year and possibly then doing the major, by then the money you'd be putting in to jack this thing and really bring it up to what you would want, I would think, you're better off demoing it and probably starting for new, you know, when you get into really doing, well, bringing it up to code, I mean, like going. No, I, I'm with you and that that's the challenge. No disrespect to uh, this location or anything right, else, but no, you know, it's, a, it's an interior right. half acre lot. Yeah. So I don't need to spend 500,000, a million dollars on an interior five acre lot, a uh, half acre lot. I'd rather spend a million dollars on a ocean front or a sound front absolutely. two acre lot. Oh no, yeah, absolutely. Right? He said it's not really feasible to do something like that on this particular lot. You're spending a lot of money and yeah. it's not, you're not gonna get the bang for your buck really with it. I mean, the lot could be utilized better if you're, if you're lifted too, mm -hmm. you get, you get, you get this, but if you're lifted and you can utilize the prop, both sides of this property, you could have sound and ocean views, you know, something like. But right, but we're like, you guys are pretty much on the lot yeah, opposite. Yeah. 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 Hey, Eric, what's happening? Say hi to everyone. Hey, Introduce yourself. Right on, Kyle. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you guys up too. I heard your dog is. Yeah, my wife loved it. So. Yeah. So we're just talking about, like, is there anything to be done here? 
bathrooms. I mean, how about yeah, the that adds up pretty fast. Though. Right. right. Start talking yeah. about redoing the bathrooms. Right then we're like already how shower about units. What do you think the bathrooms are all the units? Flooring would have to go. Like yeah. all new yeah. flooring, paint the paneling, redo the bathrooms. So you'd need at least like shower units and. Yeah. You know, new vanity. Like you, say, you start right off lighting. the mini splits is twenty grand. So it's twenty four there. Yeah, and then you start going to each bathroom. There's fifteen of them. Yeah. I mean, you'd be getting up there quick. Yeah, I don't think. I mean, doing two hundred thousand dollars would go fast. And then you're talking about the decks. You know, you could do them cheap like they are right now because you can oh, tear wow. it down eventually. You'd have to just maybe put some plywood over them again. Something that's that all you, they did right here. Yeah, yeah basically yeah. the same thing. Put some, just threw more plywood some, on top. Thank some you. of the copper wiring, like oh. ripped it out they of the walls. Back in a while so back. there's there, there's some yeah. infrastructure. Yeah. So we're not going to get this done for 200. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think so. Right. I mean, not, that's not what you want to do. I'm here and I'm no, I mean, like you be better off buying. What's that lot over there? It's like a couple acres on the sound by uh, Cafe, the Atlantic Coast Cafe, or whatever. <laughs> And doing something like you said before, right. you know, that right. sound front, it's like two acres or something. Right. But uh, I, I just to basically put a two hundred thousand dollar bandaid on it and not achieve everything we want to achieve. I don't, I don't know. No, that's sort of where we came out. But rather than me just assume that we couldn't right. do it, yeah, no, <laughs> I want to hear it. I want to hear it from you guys, you know, because if you guys are like, yeah, listen, we work for free, and you just bring me, bring me a six pack of beer and some rice and beans every day, and I, I got nothing better to do. <laughs> no, but you see what I'm saying? So like, I, I don't know what the costs are, but I do know that I'm not going to be the guy that puts in seven figures into an interior lot on a bad street, you know, like, that's not me. Oh, it'd be great. Yeah. And, and yeah, that, that's the issue. You know, when we were sp speaking to Don, I said, listen, what you guys are basically telling me and every other investor is, we're going to hold you to this 50% rule so you can't really fix it unless you bring it all to code and then all of a sudden it makes no sense. So yeah, they she really wants it. She wants this street fixed. She wants it raised, she wants it demoed, she wants brand new. They got liabilities in it. The the challenge though is it doesn't make it doesn't make sense. I mean, and you'd be better off letting them have they could you know burn it down for free. Yeah, you got to leave insure insure it first. So there you go. You see? Um, I don't see it really working for me. It doesn't mean it doesn't work for someone else. It didn't work for you guys and you were going to do your own work at cost. My, my cousin, yeah, yeah. You? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He was going to do it at cost and he walked. So, <laughs> okay, so, so it makes no sense for me to like pay him a premium. <laughs> <laughs> like, sure, you know, you like, like I'm pretty good on Airbnb, but I'm not that good. <laughs> so my point is, I think we walk from this um, I sent you an email. I don't know if you got a chance to see it. Is there anything that you can show us that you're either working on now or you just finished just so we can see kind of your work? All right. Well, I think you found the line of questioning and what we were listening to to be consistent with our thoughts going into it. But you never want to assume anything. You want to go listen to the experts, be open minded, ask open ended questions and do a lot of listening. So that was what we did with the contractor. In the end, he reaffirmed our own conclusions, which made the decision really easy. And what you may or may not know is the next thing we did from a due diligence perspective was we took our architect and our designer and Charles and I followed along and we went and kicked the tires and took a look at some of the buildings that he's built in the area, in the community to assess his quality, his attention to detail and try and determine whether this was a contractor that we want to bid on our projects. And in the end, he is a contractor that we want to build these homes. But as part of the process, we're going to get two and three quotes and make similar determinations to pick the right guy. So that's it. It's a work in progress. We don't know how it's going to turn out, but we're documenting this. I like something that Charles said this morning when we sat down and said, Richard, you're making these things for yourself. In 20 years, you're going to come back and look at it, whether you build, you don't build, you use this contract, you, you don't look at the contractor. It's like you're documenting the story. Somebody posted on um, YouTube that they like the fact that this isn't Hollywood script. There's no hair, there's no makeup. It's just happening in real time. We don't know which way it goes. I hope you find it interesting. I hope you find it educational. Um, I'm certainly enjoying making these and I hope Charles is enjoying filming them and editing them. So go ahead, like the video, subscribe to the channel and stay tuned. The best is yet to come.